Welcome to week whatever it is. As we all know, I do not count. Episode Let's 14. Welcome to Worlds Apart Words Together, where best friends share laughter, stories, and unbreakable bond. That I definitely was... did not sound like you were reading it off a script. I swear I was reading it off a script. You want to see right here, right here, right here, it's right here, it's right here. I was reading. It looks beautiful. I just got that natural radio voice. What can I say? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. feel like I have it in me to be a broadcaster or a radio person. Oh, definitely no. No. I don't want to talk that much. I don't know what I would talk about. Like my imagination. They tell you. Go so they far. tell you with the scripts. You don't well, really always. Do like if you're a sports broadcaster, like you need to be able to. I talk about the sports all the time. Well, yeah, but then it's just based on whatever play is happening. Yeah, exactly. But that's hard because I would just be watching instead of talking. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, by the way, this just happened. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, damn. Look at that, bro. (laughs) Oh, shit. You cannot see me. (laughs) Yeah. No, I couldn't. I couldn't. I think people will get bored. Now, if I were to start like a podcast by myself or a radio show talking about different types of crime and different types of murderers and all those kind of things, I would be able to talk for hours. That's fair. But just talk? No. I don't I don't do that. No, I I think it would have to depend upon what the topic is or was. Because then I could talk, but... Not fair. I feel like it would only encompass certain things that I'm, like, super, super passionate about. So what would your topic be to talk about for hours? Right now, it would probably be the medical system across the world. Okay. Yeah, I'm not um, as And how patients don't, either don't know how or don't have the ability to advocate for competent care. Okay. That's an interesting topic to discuss. I just feel like that's one thing that's this complete day and age of how far medicine has gone. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but my computer is making a noise. Oh, so it is your computer. It is my computer. It likes to be an airplane. It's so old. Yeah. The the fan. Because I heard something, but I thought it was like the light here or something, but... No, it's it's your it, sometimes it gets really away. loud, like it's a jet taking off. But okay, you know. um, I just feel like back to the topic. Um, in this day and age, with how far medicine and the medical field has gotten, that the standard of care has actually decreased across the board, and it, I'm very frustrated by that. That is fair. Like, if anything, I feel like standard of care should be elevated based on the things that we know yeah based on what we know what we can do what we have the ability to do how far things have gone i just feel like instead of that also taking a step forward and patients receiving even better care and whatever it's actually decreased um, and doctors are only about making a buck or how many people they, can they get through or that's not my specialty, I don't care or oh, we have contacts in the pharmacy world, let's give you some pills um, and not really like giving the care that really should be given to patients. Yeah, I can see that. Everything yeah. these days is about making money or doing things their way, I guess. 
yeah, I just, I don't know. It's just something that's affected my family directly on multiple occasions. Yeah. Um, and it's something that I've seen a trend in being in a subtype of medical field that it's just, I don't know. It's something that I just can't. I, I, it, I can't stomach anymore. I can't make excuses for it anymore. It's total bullshit, in my opinion. Like, it it shouldn't happen. No, I, I agree with you. I personally don't have those experiences like you did, um, but I can definitely see where you're coming from or understand what what makes you say that. Yeah. For sure. But yeah, if I had to pick something about that right now, and like if I did choose something right now, it'd be that. Like it'd probably change eventually, maybe. Maybe. Um, but I don't know if my passion for that will actually ever change, to be honest. It may dwindle. I may care less about it at some point. Yeah. But I don't think it would ever go away because if I knew anyone. So I was like pretty close, close ish, or whatever. Like, if I personally knew someone, um, who was in a medical situation who I deemed not getting sufficient care, I will always go out of my way to make sure that they are advocated for. And yes, I am that person that will do all my research because that is my ten year background is in medical research. I will use that. Yeah. Well, that's good. And it's just something that doctors are like, oh, you're intelligent. You can use something other than Google. You understand how to read actual clinical papers. And then they feel threatened by it. Instead of opening the conversation, they shut down and say, you are just using Google and you should not be looking at all these Healthline magazines and all this. I'm like, Cleveland Clinic, Stanford Medical, um, Mayo Clinic, any any Google Scholar research paper out there, I can name you legit sources. I don't look at these stupid... Right. It's not just magazines. a random... I understand vocabulary. I understand how the human body works. I can read this. And like, it really... You should, you should have a bad. medical degree by now. I should. I've been in school long enough. I could. <laughs> but yeah, a very, very passionate topic. I can, I can tell. Yeah, it just bugs me when doctors think they know everything instead of opening the table to conversation. Right. Just as if they know much better than they do. someone who isn't. I know all of you. Doctor. You just had to get a C to get this white coat. That's yeah. all you had to get. You just had to pass minimum. That does not make you very bright. No. No, I agree. Now, the bright ones who probably, you know, that pass first in their class. Yeah, you know, I probably can't touch them. Academically, they're gifted, okay? Probably couldn't touch them. But don't tell me if I dedicated 20 years of my life, I could pass medical school with the minimum. Yeah, I think so. Sorry, I know my brain is that smart. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> well. It's just, it just bugs me, but. There you go. Now you've opened this can of worms. <laughs> I did. I'm sorry. I apologize to everyone out there. <laughs> now do you understand why I could talk, make a whole podcast on this? <laughs> yeah, we'll make an extra extra season, just doctors and stuff. Leah's opinions. <laughs> no, because then I'll get in a lot of trouble, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have free speech. That is true. There's some... Your words cannot incriminate you. Don't worry, I will cite everything. So if anyone has an issue with what I said, I will cite them. <laughs> That's fine. Like people have opinions anyway, so That's true. That's true. Doesn't matter what you do in someone's eyes, you're always gonna be wrong. Unfortunately. Um, but that shouldn't necessarily matter, I feel. Yeah, uh, but it's also like so I, I just like people that just spread fake news because it's their opinion. Well, I shouldn't really say fake news, just non-factual information just right. because it's their opinion. Like that bugs me. So it's like Yeah. No, everything I will say if we ever did an episode like that would be cited and I would pull all the all resources logic and you know yeah, I mean evidence based. 
that's the same with the podcasts I listen to. They go through all these um, topics about forensic psychology, but every time they're like, well, we pulled this from this article and they always use their citations in their show notes to like let people know this is where we got the information from. So yeah, it's yeah. not just us guessing Blabbing. or speculating. Yeah. It's actual research that has been done about this topic. And if you don't agree okay, perfect, go read the article that literally says this is what they found. Yeah. Um, I I like that too. I always am that person that pulls statistics and is like, no, but this research showed this and this. <laughs> so technically... Yeah. It's a little different in like psych- psychological, psychological versus like... Oh yeah, it's so different. The medical field is different. Like you can't pull like lab stats very well like in the medical 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 field yes um but if you're looking at I did look into now that we're completely off what we were supposed to talk to about today um rabbit hole number two I did look into figuring out how to be a um just ditching my eight years that I've done all together yeah and completely switching into homeopathic and functional medicine. Oh, that is fascinating as well. And yeah. I think you'd be good at it too. Yeah, um, because I don't believe in pushing pills. I mean, you know this about me. I will do yeah. any, you know, natural herb supplement, whatever. That's obviously proven, not just you know, because I shook my finger. Here's some tea leaves. Try those. <laughs> yeah. But like, if it's a, like, I, I do believe in like, okay, I'm not going to say for two years that someone has IBS without testing their blood and realizing their vitamin D levels are way, 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 way below. And that you really probably have IBS symptoms because your vitamin D is low or the vitamin D has caused your symptoms to be worse, but we won't fix the problem. We'll just keep giving you prescriptions to ruin your butthole i don't know what else to say (laughs) well i do think to a certain extent like people who like suffer from extreme mental illnesses sometimes those natural things and medicines are just not gonna work i mean don't get me wrong there is a very good time and places for prescription meds to be yeah trust me i know you're not going to treat a staph infection a MRSA infection or anything like that with some vitamin d stupidity property boo okay i'm not stupid yeah but but just to solely like rely off pills for everything yeah like i'm not like yeah the how many times hunter's been given this pill to try this pill to try this prescription drink mix to try yeah that is interesting doesn't because... help yet they do an endoscopy a colonoscopy allergy test all this stuff but they don't run a basic blood panel yeah that's weird when everything comes back 100 percent, okay why did you not start with this yeah why is that not first round of defense that is strange and it's like the same thing with my dad when he was in the hospital these past two weeks. It was, you know, oh, COVID, 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 COVID. Well, no, it's not COVID. He's had COVID. COVID doesn't do this. And then it's like, sorry, this is just an infection. We'll give you this generic antibiotic. We won't even bother to do a spinal tap since you're presenting meningitis symptoms. We won't bother to do a skin culture because who cares about this rash? it's just a basic infection why are we not doing things that are routine nowadays like i'm sorry that's negligence or that's sorry probably not negligence because he was given an antibiotic but that is well below standard of care that these doctors signed yeah when they got their white coats like i'm sorry i i would agree with you it's just like you know, so there is a time and way where, yeah, I mean, is essential. But generic health and wellness, I think you can achieve so much. Ninety nine percent 
can be reversed or cured or stabilized with natural remedies. Oh, 100%. Did I, I didn't even tell you, but Michael's therapist asked him if he wanted to start antidepressants. No. And I told him, like, why would you? There are so many things that... I can give you a list of better options. Yeah. Right. Don't do it. That you don't have to start medication. You should not be starting medication unless you absolutely have to. Has he gotten his vitamin D levels checked? He hasn't, but he's also not the same problems as hunter has no i know but the reason i say that is vitamin d is one the only hormone or the only vitamin that kind of acts mimics a hormone and it has been linked to several psychological issues including anxiety and depression i'm pretty sure um or not sure but i'm i can imagine that his vitamin d levels are too low because he's never outside and with yeah, there's this, no like, other way to get it. I'm just saying it has helped the sleep issue. It does help energy issue. It does help. Yeah. I mean, it's just one of those things that there has been huge, 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 huge amounts of research in probably like the last 10, 20, 20, probably 20 years now um, go into like they're finding it's linked to MS. It's linked to IBS. It's linked to pretty much any autoimmune, any chronic disorder, any start of like psychotic disorder, psychological disorder. Vitamin D has its hand in. People think it's stupid. Oh, it, I don't. It's I don't. Not. Like we live back in Canberra and Australia. My family lives in probably the capital of vitamin D research. And yeah. like, nothing's fortified in australia so like your milk doesn't have vitamin d your cereals don't have vitamin d so people are even more vitamin d deficient there than they are in the u.s because you know cereals have it milk has it like you know all this stuff has it um and like they're finding these incredible links to the nervous system to like genetic autoimmune things like that are either brought upon earlier or um instigated or you know anything like that yeah vitamin d obviously it's not the cure for everything but i'm just saying no i mean that that has such a big reach into probably the biggest reach to any health and wellness disease and illness that pretty much anything has is vitamin d I will mention it to him. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, I'm just saying it, like, for, for real, like... Yeah, I mean... People think I'm funny, but I'm pissed at myself I didn't force Hunter to do it earlier. Yeah. Um, especially knowing, like, my even my own family's history with that. Like, my they thought my mom had a stroke. They thought my mom had MS. They thought my mom had... They found my mom's brain tumor because of all this imaging, and they couldn't figure out why she had all these problems that she had. And sure enough, she just had low vitamin D. Yeah. And then she could walk again. She could do this again. She's back to normal. You would have never known anything was wrong with her. That's good. No, you definitely just, opened like, a can of worms there. Yes, I have. Sorry. We'll, we'll go back to the topic at hand. This is a story. Oh, you're another. good. You're good. Um, it's fascinating, though. Like, s- simple things like that can make such a difference, and people don't realize it. Um, but yeah, definitely. Well, he used to take, um, supplement like vitamins, but I think he doesn't do that when I'm around because he forgets. Hmm. I text Hunter every morning that I'm at work before he goes to work and I text him, did you take the three? And then I do three eggplant emojis afterwards. So did you take the three D's? Because he has to take three 2,000 IU's vitamin <laughs> D's because he is on a regimen of six IU's, 6,000 IU's a day to help boost it. Good. And so I text him, did you take the three eggplants? Did you take your three D's? <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Because he will forget, hands down. If I don't say something, he forgets. Yeah. 
<clears throat> yeah. I mean, Michael is the same way. Yeah. I mean, I used to be that way, but then I, I've gotten better. That's good. Yeah, you, you kind of suck sometimes, too, with I really thinking about those things. Until there was a point where I started really learning about basically homeopathic medicine. And I actually spent time researching and, you know, connecting dots Yeah. And all of this then I was like oh shit okay I should probably do what I've learned so I don't have problems <laughs> and now I'm probably. pretty good no I'm pretty good at it I mean I still have my say I would say I'm not per- like I'm definitely not perfect but I would say I'm 75% consistent that's which good. Is way more where I used to be you were at like 20 Oh, I would say I was less than 20. I mean, you're looking at like a 12% consistency. Oh, damn. Well, that's a good 63% increase. So we're good. It's just based off what I've learned. And I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. You know, like this is actually a thing. Like yeah. people, like this isn't a joke. Um, So I've gotten, I've trained myself to be way better. Good. Good. And let's make our way back or make our way to our topic for this week. (laughs) Um, Because we've kind of dived into the medical system. (laughs) You are. It's your fault. It's not my fault. Well, it is my fault. Um, (laughs) I just asked what you could talk about for hours. And there you were talking about it for hours. (laughs) I wanted to give an example and I didn't talk quite an hour. <laughs> well, and now it's my time to talk about crime for more than. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we're, we're talking about American Thanksgiving. This, this, this wonderful episode 14. Um, it was okay. I had two time. I really, I had one really like traditional Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, we went over to my grandparents, my grandmother's house, and there's probably like her sister and niece and her other sister and husband and me, my brother and Hunter and like two other people. I don't know. It was pretty small. Um, we had the typical, you know, tur- turkey and stuffing and green bean casserole and sweet potato casserole and all the good stuff ham and mashed potatoes which are not good um yeah cranberry sauce oh jelly like the jello cranberry sauce Ugh. on olives Ugh. i don't like olives either um i don't yeah, have to so, eat them no i know but just just the smell Ugh. um so yeah, we did it on Thursday. We probably got there like like seven hours. We were over there, something about rather. Oh, I did make a really good Thanksgiving alcoholic cocktail punch thing, which you could okay. easily do non-alcoholic as well. But it it needed the alcohol. Let's just say that for for the day or the um, situation you were in. Or my current situation. or the environment yeah. i'd say um but it, you can't really it, you couldn't really taste it just tastes like juice because it's a cocktail um but we, i made that we took it over um for dinner which was nice um and then friday midday we drove up towards chicago to spend the weekend with his parents because we're in that kind of relationship now where we have to do two of everything um you may want to edit that out, Josie. <laughs> you know, we don't edit out stuff. We are the material as it is. <laughs> raw. 100% the raw. raw material. Because I don't have time for editing that stuff. <laughs> you don't have time. No time. Um, it was nice. We took David up there with us, which I kind of thought it was. I kind of felt awkward with that whole situation, but it probably wasn't. Um... And let's see, we had deep dish pizza, Chicago pizza, Ooh. Friday night, because we had to introduce David to Chicago pizza. Of course. <sighs> and Saturday, we kind of just took David down to Naperville, which pretty much everyone knows where Naperville is. It's like 
ranked number one in the U.S. for best place to live, as long as you got thousands and millions of dollars. Um, but they had their Christmas decorations up, so we wandered around there. We got David. So Naperville has this. Uh, we should tag them since I'm talking about them. Naperville has a. We should tag Cinnabon. Naperville. Said. Naperville too, but a Cinnabon. Um, so they do all cinnamon rolls, okay, and they do like fancy, like they look like cakes, but cinnamon rolls. Um, and Hunter got a tiramisu one, Ooh. and David got a like a Captain Crunch, a cinnamon crunch type one. Sounds good. Um, I didn't get one because I was like, we just ate, and I really don't want sugar anyway. So I had a couple bites from both of them, but I didn't get my own. But I had been there before, I think like a year ago. Um, so if you're ever in Naperville and really like cinnamon rolls, hit there them up. They're nice. They're kind of like a hole in the wall. Find Gordon Ramsay's um, restaurant. They're right there on the corner attached to the same building. So just wander your way in. I'm pretty sure Michael and I will go a day to Naperville. Nice. Because it's nice out there. And they have a Barnes and Noble. Yes, they do. Because of the big one. I bought two books there. I bought The Shining Mm -hmm. and Doctor Sleep at that Barnes and Noble. Nice. Um, Yeah, so we wandered around Naperville. Uh oh, you froze. Huh? Technical difficulties, you're frozen. Oh. (laughs) Now you froze. Oh, okay. Well, it'll unfreeze. Just give it a second. Yeah, it will. Um, I still hear you, though. Okay. Oh, then you're back. Um, so we wandered around there. We got some of that. Um, continued just, like, wandering around looking at decorations and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and then we came back in uh, Hunter's two nieces and sister-in-law, I guess it is. Um, They came over for dinner. I guess that was, like, our version of Thanksgiving, but we had Italian beef sandwiches. That's also um, delicious. Which is another kind of like Chicago staple. So David got that as well. Um, we played card games that night, which was nice. Um, I did not win all of them. That that's okay. That's so. I didn't hard. lose. I wasn't first. I wasn't the last. last you don't win, first. you lose. I know, but. So I don't know what it is. Like everyone's okay to w- to lose as long as they don't lose to me. So it's just <laughs> I'm <quite> sad. <laughs> I'm too good at card games. What can I, I guess? Say? Yeah. Um. Then Sunday morning we went into Chicago and it was snowing because it snowed Saturday night and it was like. It's rainy snow, which was fine. It was better than rain, but it was cold. Um, and we kind of wandered around, showed David the bean, and the bean is under construction, so we couldn't get to the bean. Oh. Um, and then we just went to all the different, like, what are they called? Parts and stuff like that. Okay. So, and then we came back, and wonderful Thanksgiving traffic was awful you told this story with so much emotion it was amazing thank you thank you so much (laughs) it was very bland okay i know (laughs) well then i'll put a little bit of emotion into my story um because my mom she texted me on wednesday and she was like what are your favorite thanksgiving dishes i texted her back and i was like well i like stuffing i like sweet potato casserole and i like cranberry sauce but only when it's actual cranberry sauce not the jello not the jelly not the jello not the like Uh, yeah i know i know i know this of cranberry sauce so what she did um we bought this rotisserie chicken at the market on thursday nice and she home she did homemade stuffing from this okay. one American recipe that she found on the internet. And then she made her own cranberry sauce. So we had our own little like Thanksgiving dinner um, with my parents and me. That's Instead nice. Of, yeah. It was very surprising and it was actually really good. It was probably like the best Thanksgiving dinner I've had just because it was so fresh and yeah, not like all processed, you know, it was 
actual cranberry sauce. It was freshly cut vegetables for in the stuffing and all that. Yeah. So it was delicious. Um, That's good. That was yeah. a nice little treat. Right? Yeah. But other than that, we went to um Germany on Saturday. Okay. And it was this mall. So many people were there. It was insane. It's as if COVID never existed and nobody ever, you know, yeah. to social distance. It was, there was this line of people for the bathroom. Maybe that is their post COVID. Maybe it was worse before COVID. Maybe. I don't know. I do not recall. I have no memories of my life. Sometimes my parents tell me something and they're like, you don't remember? I'm like, no, I, I, I have blocked it out. I don't know what you're talking it's about. Post COVID, I can't, that's like a century ago. I can't. Think yeah. About honestly, it. like there is a time span before COVID and then there's after COVID. COVID was just not there. Like whatever happened during COVID, I don't know. Fair, that's fair. No memories. Um, but yeah, that was fun. Uh, I got a new winter jacket because I didn't have a winter jacket. Very nice. Yeah. And a sweatshirt and it was black Friday deals. So everywhere. Oh, well, perfect. Yeah. But it was insane. And oh my God, I hate people. Sometimes I hate people. Only sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes they're actually nice. But this lady, so I was walking out or I was done using the toilet and then I walked through the little hallway back into the mall and I saw this lady coming in with her stroller, her baby stroller. And I just like stepped aside and the people behind me stepped aside to let the lady pass. And then there's this lady coming from the back, just marching through, bumping into the lady with the stroller. And I was like, you don't see us waiting here? What is your issue? Yeah. You don't I, care. I got upset. I was upset too. Yeah. She thought she was entitled as well. Everyone's entitled. She Come was on. in such a hurry to get back to her Black Friday shopping. Oh, yes. Ugh. Anyway. You know that that item that she really wants is quickly disappearing. Yes. And they'll never return. Never. In a galaxy far, far away. Super far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so that was ridiculous. Um, but yeah. I have another story that I wanted to tell you today. Hmm. What is the story? About my exam. Oh, yeah, did you fail? I don't know. Yeah. So How she, do you not know? You said six because she hasn't posted people. the grades yet. Oh, she just told you. She said that only 65% of the class passed. Um, And she said that she would post the grades later today in the afternoon. Hmm. It is now 10 past 10 in the evening and there are no grades. Interesting. So, I don't know if I failed. I was like, why would you tell people that you're going to post them in the afternoon and then you don't? Like, that's just rude. Now you're making us all, like, be anxious for nothing. What happens if you do fail? Do you have to repeat? I can retake it um, in February. But if I fail it then, I would have to retake the class next mm. year. Oh. Yeah, which means so I you can was... repeat just the test then the first round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then if you fail that one, then you have to retake the whole class, which means you have to go into next year, which means you have to pay tuition for next year, um, which also means you have delayed graduation. Mm -hmm. So I'm just hoping that I fail, or that I don't fail, that I pass. <laughs> I'm hoping that I fail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping so hard that I fail. No, no, I hope that I pass so I don't have to retake it. 
Um, but if I have to retake it, it's not the end of the world. I can just retake it. At least it. you know the format of the test. So if you did have to retake it, you know what you're walking in. Apparently, the test that we had this year was the exact same as the one from last year, as well as the retake from last year. Oh, then you'll be fine. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, if I can see my exam, I'm just going to take pictures of it and just study mm -hmm. all of it. Might as well. Yeah. Um, We're almost out of time. We are almost out of time. That's because we went on a tangent. But I don't really yeah. have anything else to add about Thanksgiving. It was a holiday. I ate way too much. I drank too much. Yeah. That's that's what happens during those, those holidays. And now I got to get my life back together before the next holiday in three for Christmas. <laughs> Yay. Um, to everyone listening out there, I, I saw that our pre previous episode had one listener. So to our one listener out there, I hope you enjoyed our rabbit hole of medical stuff. <laughs> and we will try not to get into a rabbit hole next time. But we cannot make any promises <laughs> because we are who we are <laughs> and we take rabbit holes. Um, but I think we talked about doing a lot of Christmas themed mm -hmm. episodes. Um, also, side note, we are looking into changing our blog place because the Wix side is horrendous at the moment. And we want to be able to write better and good. So we're trying, we're thinking of switching it up, but we'll keep everyone posted about that switch up if it happens. Right, Leah? Yes. Okay. We so just need a place to write our words. Yeah. We and upload our photos. I just want to write my words, please. <laughs> But yeah, we want to thank you all for joining us as we offer a glimpse into the world of true friendship, where even though worlds may seem apart, the connections remain strong. And we will see you all next week when we talk about the Christmas season. Goodbye. Goodbye.